In this lab, you will use Wireshark to capture and inspect web traffic, telnet traffic, and SSH traffic. Wireshark is a network protocol analyzer that lets you see what's happening on your network at a microscopic level. You can capture packets and store them for offline analysis. Wireshark includes many tools for deep inspection of hundreds of network protocols. Step 1 is open a terminal window in the CSE Lab VM. Step 2 is explore the Wireshark Protocol Analyzer. To capture traffic on your VM, you need to run Wireshark with escalated privileges. Enter the sudo Wireshark command and then enter password for the password. Wireshark will open. Under the listing of interfaces, we will be capturing traffic from both the Ethernet interface and the loopback interface. So click any. And then click Capture Start. You can also click the shark fin icon on the toolbar. Open Firefox. In Firefox, enter Cisco.com. Return to Wireshark and click Capture Stop. Alternatively, you can click the square button next to the shark fin. Close Firefox. In Wireshark, you will see the filter field and three key panes or work areas. The Apply a Display Filter field is directly below the toolbar. The packet list pane includes the following columns for each captured packet. Number, the number of packet in the numerical order, timestamp for this packet, source IP address for this packet, destination IP address for this packet, the protocol of this packet, the number of bytes captured for this packet, and any additional information. The packet's detail pane shows the protocols and protocol fields of the selected packet. Notice that the fields can be expanded or collapsed by clicking on the arrow next to the field. The bytes pane shows the byte details of the selected packet. As you select parts of the packet in the packet details pane, the corresponding bytes will be highlighted in the packets pane. The left side shows the hexadecimal representation of the bytes Step 3 is capture and analyze unencrypted telnet traffic. In Wireshark, start a new capture. In the Unsaved Packets dialog box, click Continue without saving. This will clear out the packets from your last capture and start a new capture. On your desktop, double-click the terminal icon to open a new terminal window. You can simulate a remote login to your VM by entering the telnet localhost command and then logging in as Cisco with password as the password. Enter exit to end the telnet session. Return to Wireshark and stop the capture. In the apply a display filter field, type telnet and press enter. On the toolbar, Click the magnifying glass icon to find a packet. Additional search features are now shown below the Apply a Display Filter field. Click the arrows next to Display Filter and change to a string. Then click the arrows next to Packet List and change it to Packet Details. To find the packet requesting login information, type LabVM login colon. Click Find. Wireshark will highlight the packet that contains LabVN login. You can tell that the text was sent unencrypted because you can read it. In the Packet List pane, click the highlighted packet with LabVM login as the data to select it. To find the username and password, use your down arrow on the keyboard to select the next packet. 
In the packet details pane, you should see the value for data under Telnet is the first letter you typed in the field for the lab VM login colon prompt, which was C for Cisco. If you click the down arrow again, you will see the next packet's data is also C. Because the source and destination are the same interface, loopback 127.0.0.1, the packet is listed twice by Wireshark. Continue to press the down arrow key until you reach the last packet with a data value of O for the username Cisco. Click the down arrow for the next packet until you see the data password. Continue pressing the down arrow to read the data of the next eight packets, which will reveal one letter at a time that password is the password for the user Cisco. P A S S W O R D. If you continue to press the down arrow through the rest of the captured packets, you will see all the text sent and received during the Telnet session, including your exit command at the log out message. Step 4 is Capture and Analyze Encrypted SSH Traffic. Start a new capture. In the Unsaved Packets dialog, click Continue Without Saving. This will clear out the packets from your last capture and start a new capture. Return to your Open Terminal window and enter the command SSH localhost. If this is your first time to use the command, the system warns you about the authenticity of localhost and asks you if you want to continue. Enter yes and then password as the password to log in. Enter exit to end the SSH session. Return to Wireshark and stop the capture. If you left Telnet as the search term in the Apply Display Filter field, no packets will be listed. Change the search term from Telnet to SSH. All the packets from your SSH session should now be shown in the Packet List pane. In the Packet Details pane, expand the SSH protocol fields to view the content. In the Packet List pane, click the first packet. Use the down arrow to view a variety of SSH packets. Notice that the SSH protocol field shows that all the data is encrypted.